MVP is going to be all girls. So we've got uh, three girls in the studio in just a few moments for our K-pop MVP. So uh, stay tuned for that and test your K-pop knowledge to be this week's K-pop MVP. Let's start off our second hour, though, with some more hot music. GOT7 was able to manly it up a little bit this time around with If You Do, Diga Hamir. And we'll see you guys back after this with our K-pop MVP. The first place to listen to the hottest K-pop, K-popping with DJ Isa. K-pop MVP. time to test your K-pop knowledge and uh, start getting ready for the K-pop MVP. We have a new uh, addition to our K-pop MVP family. Tem is in the studio and of course we've got Barry Goods. Hi! Hello! 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 Okay, so Colin was normally our Friday guest, but she has moved to Tuesdays now and I'm quite happy and scared at the same time because it's three girls. Yeah. <laughs> Midday. <laughs> I'm guessing we're going to start giggling and get uh, super hyped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kuan, instead of giving advice, now you get a chance to help our listeners with yeah. K-pop. So, a little bit more relaxing. Yeah, relaxing, and I like the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the BGM. <laughs> yeah. Before we started, there there was a song. It was really good. Oh, usually they don't have that. <laughs> no, we do, but it's different. For our ugly truth, it's a little bit. Like mellower oh, a little bit more yeah. than our K-pop MVP. Mm. Yes, our background music is a little different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Tim and Corn are going to be helping us uh, help you today become the next K-pop MVP with our four questions. Each question has to be correct for you to win. Today's giveaway is amazing. Corn is walking in the studio. She's like, "Uh, there's three CDs." Do we have three winners? Like, no, 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 no. One person gets all three CDs. Oh. So today we've got Oh My Girls Closer, de- uh, their recent release, That Science CD, nice. plus Very Good's Ooh. recent Science CD, plus <laughs> Sonamu Science CD. Yay. Cool. So yeah, it's the girls today. So we've got Very Good, Sonamu, and Oh My Girls Science CD for today for the win wow. for the K-pop MVP winner. Now, um... Seoul Fashion Week has started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, cool. Are you into fashion? No, actually, I'm not into fashion, but we just have to care about our fashion. Just your fashion. <laughs> yeah. So, you personally, what is your most number one item? You The fashion item you love? White. White. Yeah. Anything white. white. Oh. Anything white. Yeah. Oh. I love white. I try to keep away from yeah, white. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it gets dirty easily. Yeah. You have to oh, well, she's right. wearing be careful today. on yeah. it. Right. Yeah. Huh. I ha- I, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, she's wearing a cream jacket today. Mm-hmm. And, of course, Tim and I are wearing some type of black. Yeah. <laughs> and we green. always go for, like, the darker colors. Darker colors. Yeah. I jinx myself whenever I wear something white. I'm just like, coffee, don't come near me. Yeah, I'm trying to change, <laughs> though. I'm trying to get more color into my outfits. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tim, are you a very fashion uh mm, sensitive person? More on like accessories. Okay. I'm more mm. on the accessory type. Okay. Other than clothing. But I'm trying to change. Okay. Yeah, because my mom always like tells me to change. Me too. Because mm. my mom's like she was a fashion designer when Whoa. I was younger. <gasps> And so she would dress me up in all these pretty clothes, and then now, because I dress myself, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, uh, no, go change, because she's here now, and so she like she hates the way I dress now, so yeah, yeah, but yeah. she's leaving next week, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mama, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong. <laughs> don't, don't get her wrong. Yeah. Mama, we love you. We love you. <laughs> yeah, the nagging gets to us. Yeah. But yes, okay. But yeah, Fashion Week has started. Mm-hmm. So today we're going to be looking at some artists mm-hmm. that attended Fashion Week. Yep. Uh, over the weekend, I am following a few, big handful of our Korean celebrities, mm-hmm. and that's all I got. Like, <laughs> that's all my news feed was for the yeah. entire weekend. I was like, okay, let's see what's going on. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, everybody's posting. They're like, they're in the same place. Yeah, and everyone. So, yeah, so Stephanie and Zion T, uh, like, yeah. Tiffany and Zion T sat next to each other. Uh-huh. Zion T posted a picture of them, and then Steph- wow. uh, Tiffany posted a picture yeah. of them, and I'm just like, Hello. Okay, hi. <laughs> More Soul Fashion Week. <laughs> so today we're going to be looking at some of the artists that attended Soul Fashion Week mm-hmm. and uh, some artists that are known to have quite a big sense of uh, style. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do is start off with our first question. Remember our listeners, four questions and all of you have to get all four questions correct. Mm-hmm. So listen carefully. Tim, take it away. Okay, so this has to do with the group AP. Yay! Okay, so you have to pick the song that is not by A Pink. Okay. And the choices are one, remember, two, love, three, no, 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 and four, yojum no temune nan. Because of you. Yay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love how cool it is just like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> That's a hint, by the way. Yes, yeah. okay. a big hint. Huge hint. All right, so what we're going to do is have uh, Tem reread the question and the choices, please. Okay, so you have to pick the song that is not by A Pink. Okay. And the choices are one, remember, two, love, three, no, 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 four, yojum no temune nan, because of you. Ooh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so we have to figure out which song is not yes. A Pink's track. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which song is not A Pink's track? So that is question number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, our rules, this is the first time and last time I'm going to be re- reminding our listeners of the rules. <laughs> I'm going to be passing that on to Kuhn in just a few moments. <laughs> but all of our listeners who want to be the K-pop MVP for this week and for any week that you uh, participate, uh, we give you four K-pop related questions. It can be a math question like we've been trying for the past couple of weeks. It mm-hmm. can be a song question or like uh, Tem just read, uh, try to choose a song that is not or actually their track. Mm-hmm. Um, now, all four answers have to be correct for you to win a prize. And this week's prize is Very Good Sonamu and Oh My Girl Science CD. All most recent albums. So uh, this is a true giveaway indeed Mm -hmm. so test your k-pop knowledge to become this week's k-pop mvp and uh you can change your answers as long as it is done before the song break that we have is over so with that in mind again tem could you read us question number one okay so you have to pick the song that is not by a pink okay and the choices are one remember two love three no 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 for yojum no temune nan because of you. Okay, Gwen, do you have any hints that you would like to give? Because of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like that uh, we've got some hints for our listeners up and running, and you get a chance for three minutes and. 48 seconds to send in your answers to our message board. Good luck to our listeners. Good luck. And what we're going to do is take a listen to an A Pink track. This is not in our choices, so sorry if you wanted to <laughs> get a little bit of a hint. We've got Good Morning Baby for you with the answer and our next question. So, A Pink's Good Morning Baby has come to an end, and that means that all of your answers have to be coming to an end as well. So, we are stopping all of your chances to sending in the answer to number one because Tem is going to give us the answer. Yeah! Yay! Yeah. Yay! Okay, so the answer was number four. Four. 
<laughs> the song was by Very Good. Yeah, very, very good. Of you. Yeah. So that was Kwon's group yeah, song. Yeah, you should know that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> If you are listening to our show, you should know that mm-hmm. it was a very good song. Yes. Okay. All right, moving on. Now, Kuhn is going to be the first time she's giving us our question number two. So, mm-hmm. Kuhn, take it away. So, uh, what are our listeners doing? You can listen to two clips, mm-hmm. and you can listen to a hard clip mm-hmm. and an easy one. So, figure out the song's title and the artist. Ooh, mm. there we go. So, you have to figure out the song title and the artist mm-hmm. by listening to a hard clip and an easy clip. Mm-hmm. We are going to be re- repeating it a few times. Mm-hmm. Today, we've got three hot girl group signed CDs. Uh, we've got uh, Oh My Girl, s o n a m u and... Very good. So, mm. yay! Yay! All right. So, uh, let's take a listen to the hard clip. Hmm. Hmm. Hard. It is really? a little hard. Yeah, a little hard. Hmm. Ooh, Tem, Tem is like the true K-pop a n e a l I don't think it's hard. Uh, I, I think I can figure out who the artist is. Yeah, the voice. But since is, it, like, it sounds very similar to other mm, artists, right. too. Yeah. Like the voice. Something I've noticed more recently in the K-pop world is the past about mm, two to three years, we've been seeing a lot of overlapping uh-huh. mm-hmm. rap vocals. Yes. They all sound similar. very similar. Yeah, similar. Mm-hmm. I think it's because the song producers are... Wanting that kind of a tone, tone, mm-hmm. but Maybe. very similar. So it could be kind of confusing, kind of. But it, it also, I feel like it's very all the girls like that kind of tone. True. All oh, right. So yeah. they're trying to aim for like the girl fans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The I very think. husky, raspy, yeah. manly, yeah, <laughs> deep tone rapping voice. Okay. Mm-hmm. So for those of you who are like, I need to listen to it again. We're gonna take a listen to the hard clip again. So listen carefully. <laughs> Okay. Mm. A <sighs> little bit harder. So, k u n what are our listeners doing for question number two? Um, you can listen to a hard clip and an easy one. So, figure out the song's title and the artist. Okay. Song title mm. and artist. Oh, wait. Our listeners for <laughs> question number two, too easy. Mm. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. And we just listened to the hard clip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, it looks like our listeners are true K-pop MVPs. Nice. Yeah. Uh, it seems like our listeners are head over heels for Tem and k u o n today. We were getting tons of positive messages from Yay. the message board. Okay. So, Oh, cool. And again, for our listeners who might have been, you know, thinking of something else while you're reading the second question, could you okay. give us the okay. question again? You can listen to a hard clip and an easy one. So figure out the song's title and the artist. Okay. So that is question number two. Song's title and the artist has to be uh, there. What we're going to do is take a listen to the easy clip. So let's take a listen. <laughs> Aww. Mm. So Aww. cute. Yeah. Well, the song itself <laughs> isn't cute, but... But they're cute. They are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how charismatic yeah. they come out, they're just... They're just so cute. cute. <laughs> mm. So cute. Yeah. Um, I, I want to ask, uh, Kuhn, yeah? during your promotions, did mm-hmm. you ever overlap with this team? Uh, twice. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh, and we met at the Dream Concert w o r s Ooh. Nice. Okay, so that could be a hint. Yeah. If you're a very good fan uh-huh. and you saw the overlapping artist, mm-hmm. this could be a hint. They mm, overlapped yes. with them twice. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Now, um, is there another hint that we can give? That, ooh, oh, this is going to be a hint that could kind of give it away or it could conf- confuse you. What? What? GD and Ta? Oh. Is that confusing? I'm, yeah, yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> okay. Maybe that was confusing. I was trying to give them a hint. GD Ta, GD t a n g Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I got it. Okay. Oh. Okay, I think Gold <laughs> got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Maybe I'm confusing our listeners. I'm sorry. I take that back. <laughs> oh, hint. Okay. We gave... 
away their CD a couple times. Oh, there we go. That Not once, but a few times. A few times. Oh. Okay, so for those of you who have listened to K-pop MVP before, mm-hmm. that should help. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Kuhn, I'm trying to think of ways to give hints without giving the answer away. Kuhn, so what is the question? So what do our listeners have to do? Um, you can listen to a hard clip mm-hmm. and an easy one. So figure out the songs and the artist. Okay, song mm-hmm. and artist has to be correct. Mm-hmm. All right, now today we are giving away three girl group science CDs, Very Good, Swan mm-hmm. and Oh My Girl. So this is a pretty big giveaway. Mm-hmm. Before we go into the next song break, let's take a listen to, again, the easy clip. <laughs> Nice. I really do like this song. Yeah. All right, so we have to name the team and the song title. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a reminder, if at any given time we have a title that is in Korean, you can give us the Korean and English title, either or, as long as it's correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, cool. Now, since you are brand new to the segment, yeah. to have our listeners listen to your voice just a little bit more, we have rules for the K-pop yeah. MVP. So could you please read us our rules before we go into our song break? Um, K-pop MVP rules. There are four questions each week. After each question, we take a song break and finish th- the question after the break. You may change your answer during the song break, but make sure you have the correct answer sent in by the end of the song. Okay. After the answer to the question is given, any answers corrected after read be disqualified. Okay. <laughs> All answers to the four questions have to be correct for you to be the next K-pop MVP. Sounds okay. good. All right, so hope all of our listeners got that and is ready for the next song break. You have three minutes and five seconds to send in or edit your answer to question number two. We have for you Vix with Kijok Eternity, and we'll see you guys after this with the answer and question number three. <laughs> Vix is also making a comeback pretty mm-hmm. soon, so super exciting. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Gwen, you are going to start becoming a fangirl, just like Tem and I. Just yeah. wait. You are going to start showing your love for boy bands It soon. will come soon. It yeah. will come soon. Yeah. <laughs> when we were listening to Gus7, uh, Tem and I were like, oh, he's so cute! And then Tem was like, oh. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on. Sorry, sorry. I said ten times. I was fangirling right. with you. Exactly. We were just like, woohoo! Boy bands! And then Cole's like, oh. How am I supposed to react to yeah. this? What are they doing? <laughs> okay, so, uh, Kuhn helped us with question number two uh, mm-hmm. with our uh, listeners trying to figure out what team it was mm-hmm. and what was the title of the song. So, Kuhn, what was our answer? It was A Beautiful Liar. By? By Vix LR. Yes. Yay. Vix LR is Beautiful Liar. That's why I said GD and Top. Yeah, I know. I, I was like, I was thinking, I was like, oh. Because they were a subunit and they were two guys. Mm. Is there any other two guy? No. I don't think there are any other two guy units. They're all like three. Because like Super Junior KR was three. Mm-hmm. And then with uh, Block B, Bastards, they're three too. Mm-hmm. I think they're like these Two teams, like those three teams, are the only ones that were like two duets. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong. Okay, if you guys can think of any more, you can say. <laughs> Sorry to pull you guys off guard. <laughs> so uh, for our K-pop MVP today, we're actually looking at some of the artists that attended Seoul Fashion Week, yeah. and it looks like there was a blue carpet this year, so mm-hmm. it was pretty hot. And uh, Vix LR was the answer to question number two because we even talked about Abby uh, stepping onto the blue carpet with a really hot, sexy, chic look. Mm-hmm. So moving on, it is the math question. And we're going to be handing it over to Kuhn. So this is going to be a little bit hard for her today as well because it is hard to explain. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kuhn, did you, are you good at math? Since you're still a student, are you good at math? Not now, but I was good at math. You were yeah. good at math. Not now. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mom is not listening. Yeah. <laughs> shh, Mom, shh. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, actually, I have an exam at school. Oh my gosh, she has an exam at school tomorrow. Is it midterms right now or but no midterms? Uh, midterms, right? Mid- yeah. Midterms. <laughs> oh I'm my so gosh. sorry. What? Uh, midterms. Ah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, <laughs> thinking, she's thinking if it's midterms or not. Um, so what is the what what's the exam about tomorrow? Um English. Oh, it's English. Oh. Okay, so today's show is gonna help. Yeah. Yeah. 
It will be. It <laughs> might not. <laughs> it might not. It might not. On her test, she's going to start writing Big Sal. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like Arirang, <laughs> K-pop, <K-popping>. okay, popping. <laughs> okay. Uh, so moving on to question number three, it is a math question, mm-hmm. and so Kuan's gonna give you the equation for today. So Kuan, what's the equation? Um, you should listen to it carefully. Yes, please. Um, uh, sister members. Okay. Plus. Okay. Fix our members. Okay. Plus. Members of A Pink uh, minus sorry okay. sorry sorry minus minus minus, minus A Pink's member. Oh okay. Whew. Okay. Wow. Well, so all of us are really not good at math. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> Think about how much you would need this question repeated for mm-hmm. you to get it okay, right. Okay, okay, okay. So you can continue to repeat it. It's okay. Okay. Um, members of sister mm-hmm. plus Vix Eller's member mm-hmm. minus A Pink's members. Okay, so we just talked about oh. Vix LR, so this could help. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So we just talked about Vix LR because they were our answer to question number two. Mm-hmm. So it could help a little bit there. Mm-hmm. So yeah. always we're talking about how many members there are. Mm-hmm. So again, what is our equation? <laughs> members of sisters plus Vix Eller's members minus A Pink's members. Okay. Okay. So that is question number three for our listeners. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those of you who uh, are being a part of our K-pop MVP for today, mm-hmm. it's always the hardest question. Mm-hmm. Before question number four. You have to, like, get everything out. Yeah. Your fingers, your toes, your phone. Yeah. Fingers, toes, everything. Pen, <laughs> paper, phone, everything calculator. Everything you can use. Anything. Yeah. Last week, I had to use my toes. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> there were so many members. Yeah. <laughs> this week, I can use my fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this week, I can use my fingers. So, uh, we are going to repeat the equation for you a few more times. So, Kuan, could you please repeat for us what the equation is for question number three? Okay. Sister members plus fix LR members plus a uh, minus <laughs> AP members. <laughs> <laughs> See, even Cohen's getting confused. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm we will confused. repeat this for you. Don't worry. Take your time, Cohen. It's okay. Mm-hmm. What's the equation again? Sisters members plus Fix Eller members minus A Pink's members. Okay. Sister plus Fix LR. Sister plus Fix LR minus A <laughs> Pink. So we just talked about Vix LR. So this could mm-hmm. help with the members and all that. Mm-hmm. Now, don't be surprised with the answer. I think some yeah. of you would be like, wait. Oh, right, right. Is this, can this, this be? Kid, can this be an answer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it can be an answer. Mm. So, think simply. Mm-hmm. Don't think too much. Mm-hmm. We're not trying to find X here. <laughs> oh, man. Remember those days? I think. Mean, <laughs> cubed. Oh, sometimes I see Square. online. Uh... Why stop trying to find, ch- stop telling us to try to find your X? Because oh. <laughs> always the Y X equation. Yeah. Okay, so we're not asking that today. Mm-hmm. So think as simply as possible, mm-hmm. just basic arithmetic. Yes. So, Kuan, could you please give us the equation slowly okay. for question number three? Sister plus Vix Eller minus A Pink. Okay. Hmm. Some of our listeners are getting the right answer. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Plus minus. Yes, plus minus. Very simple arithmetic. Yes. Don't be alarmed by the answer. Mm-hmm. It is the answer, I'm <laughs> guessing. <laughs> now, again, today for our K-pop MVP, as uh, Kuan has uh, joined as our new family member for K-pop MVP yeah. every Tuesdays with Tem in the studio, yeah. mm-hmm. we've got Very Good, Sonawu, and Oh My Girl Science CD. Nice. Three girl group science CDs for one lucky K-pop MVP for uh, today. So, good luck. Uh, Kuan, before we go into uh, our song break, could you please give us the equation one more time? Okay. Sister plus Vix Eller's members minus A Pink's members. Okay. So, uh, again, we give out four questions each week. All the answers have to be correct. And you have uh, three minutes and 24 seconds for this next track for you to send in your answer. So, Mm -hmm. good luck. We're listening to a song that has nothing to do (laughs) with... 
<laughs> has nothing to do with the question, so don't try to find the answer yeah. <laughs> in our next song break. Mm-hmm. Uh, good luck. You can change your answers as long as it's uh, finished before the, que- uh, the the song is over. So good luck. Uh, again, before we go into the song break, cool, and just for our listeners who are freaking out right now, what is the equation one more time? Sisters members plus... Fix Aller minus A Pink. Okay, mm. we've got Oh My Girl with Closer, and we'll see you guys back after this with the answer and question number four. I'm getting closer now. I'm closer. We're back. You're listening to K-Pop, and we've got our new family member, Cohen, in the studio on Tuesdays. Now, joining Tem with the K-Pop MVP, Joao Yay. from Portugal, saying math at 5.35 a.m. My brain hurts. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, I do know that some of our listeners do tune in very early in the morning to listen to our oh, show. Thank you so much thank for you. trying to do math equations <laughs> early in the morning. <laughs> oh, ew, math at 5.30 in the morning. Oh, no, thank you. You. Okay, <laughs> so cool. And could you please give us the equation with the how many members there were mm-hmm. and uh, the answer? Um, sister members plus fix Eller members minus a pink members. The answer is zero. 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 That's why I said. If you think it's wrong, it's, it's right. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> mm-hmm. rarely do you ever have zero mm-hmm. yeah, as, an, as answer an answer in math. Yeah. But yes, it is not one. It was zero. Yes. Mm. So uh, the how many members were in each team? Kuhn, could you please read that for us? Um, the sister members are four. Mm-hmm. And Vix Eller member is um, two. two. Mm-hmm. And A-Pink's members are six. Yep. That's how we got zero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we're moving on to the last question no. for today. No. For your chance to win Barry Good Sonamu and Oh My Girl signed CD. Today we're talking about some celebrities that popped up at Seoul Fashion Week and we're able to see some of the hottest collections for yeah. next year. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Tem, take it away. Okay, so this has to do with Bora. Bora! From Sister. Yeah, so. she's my girl crush too. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. She's just so party. Mm-hmm. She is pretty. Yeah, she's yeah. pretty. Okay. She's pretty. So these are facts about her. Yes. Okay. And you have to pick the wrong fact. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So you have to listen carefully. Okay. Okay. So fact number one. Fashion doll turned actress was on the Korean drama Dr. Stranger. Okay, so this is all about Pura. Yes. Mm. And we all know that she hot and loves fashion. Yeah. Okay. Two, Bora was a member of Sister's unit group, Sister 19. Mm. Three, Bora is the oldest member in Sister. Mm. And four, Bora is the leader and the vocal in Sister. Mm. This is easy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> or oh, maybe we just love Bora. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could be. Could be. Could be. But mm-hmm. it's fairly easy. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a given, I think. If you know Sistar. Yeah. Yeah. If you know a little bit about Sistar, I think mm-hmm. you'd probably get the answer, like, in a blink of an eye. Mm-hmm. Okay. So for some of our listeners who were staring off into space, yeah, could you reread the question for us? Okay. So you have to pick the wrong fact about Bora. Okay. So, the facts are, one, fashion doll turned actress doll Bora was on the Korean drama Dr. Stranger. What's the Korean title? Uh, what was the Korean title? Dr. <laughs> Yipagin. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you saved me. <laughs> I was like, uh. <laughs> Both Kwon and Tim translate their scripts, so normally they have a translated script yeah. with them. So mm-hmm. most of the time when it comes to Korean titles, mm-hmm. uh, they don't have them. But yeah. I just, yeah. Just in case you're more familiar with the Korean title instead yeah. of the English one. Okay, moving on. Okay. Two, Pora was a member of Sister's unit group, Sister 19. Hmm. Three, Pora is the oldest member in Sister. And four, Pora is the leader and the vocal in Sister. Okay. Now, 
This is we have to find the wrong. Yes, the fact? wrong fact. Mm. Wrong fact. Wrong fact. Wrong fact. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Sure. But this is fairly easy. Hmm. I think. Yeah, it should you, be. If you know a little bit about mm-hmm. to start, or if you're like us three, yeah, <laughs> and you love Buddha, yeah, <laughs> and you know all the facts about her, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, side note: I really like her current hair color. <laughs> <laughs> really random. <laughs> Oh, I feel like you would say something. <laughs> I really do, though. It's one of those colors that I never would do. Yeah. But if I had the chance to, I would. I oh. would do it. Yeah, it's like if I was constantly promoting and mm-hmm. I would go to the salon every single day to mm-hmm. get my hair done, I mm-hmm. would do it. But if it's like everyday life and I have to retouch my hair at home, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I would not do that color because but it's have, pretty. It is pretty. Yeah. Cool. And if you ever had like super, if you had the chance to change your hair color, mm-hmm. what's the most extravagant hair color you would like to try? Uh, Red. She never thought about Did it. She never thought about <laughs> it. Uh, colorful, like color, different oh, colors, like rainbows. Yeah, yeah rainbow. Ooh. Ooh, I'll try everything <laughs> <laughs> at once. All in one. That's so smart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so smart. That's so smart. I never thought of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so going back, it looks like our listeners do know the answer to uh, question number four. But nice. still, for some of you who are not that big of a Sistar fan or mm-hmm. a Pora fan, we're going to try to give you the choices again. So what are they doing for the last question? You have to pick the wrong fact about Pora. Okay. And the choices are, mm-hmm. one, fashion doll turned actress doll was on the Korean drama Dr. Stranger. And what was the Korean title? Dr. <laughs> Yvonne. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Number two, Pora was a member of Sistar's unit group, Sistar 19. Mm-hmm. Three, Pora is the oldest member in Sistar. Mm-hmm. And four, Pora is the leader and vocal in mm. the group, Sistar. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Leader and lead vocal. Yes. Mm. So not only one, but two. Not only one, but two. Yeah. Okay. So out of these four choices, mm-hmm. one of them is wrong. And yes. you have to figure out which one is wrong. Yes. Yeah. Any hints? I love Bora's low voice. Ooh, oh, that's, that's a, good a hint. big hint. That's a big hint. And I love the lyrics too. Okay, oh. well, that's a hint too. Yeah. Oh, good hint, good hint. Oh, goes off to a good start. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's a nice hint. Mm. I do what she does. There you go. Yeah. yeah. That yeah, Tem does what Bora does. Oh, there we go. That's a nice hint. That's a mm-hmm. hint. That's a hint. Uh, I think for the current competition oh, that oh, her uh-huh. other member is on, mm-hmm. yeah, a right? lot of people thought she, she would was. be mm-hmm. on the show instead of her other member. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they were fooled. And her other member is doing pretty good uh-huh. these days. I I honestly was skeptical as well, but yeah. she's doing a pretty good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's doing a pretty good job. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, what is the fact that is wrong? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what fact is wrong? And uh, remember that you do have to uh, get all four questions right. Yes. So uh, four questions go out today. We're looking at the fourth question already here on K-pop. And for those of you who are just tuning in, our K-pop MVP is every week. So even though you missed this week, it's okay. You do get a chance to have Tam and Kwon in the studio every single week with us. Yay. Yeah. So uh, get ready for that. Today's giveaway is actually pretty big. We've got three girl group science cities for you. Oh My Girl, Sonamu, and Very Good. So mm-hmm. if you've got all questions right up until now, if you get the last question right, then you're probably uh, going to get ready to win this week. So so, uh, Tim, before we go into the song break, could you please give us the question and the choices one more time? Okay, so there's four facts, and you have to pick the wrong fact about Pora. Okay. And the facts are, one, fashion doll turned actress doll Pora was on the Korean drama Dr. Stranger. Okay. Two, Pora was a member of Sistar's unit group, Sistar 19. Three, Pora is the oldest member in Sistar. And four, Pora is the leader and vocal in the group, sister. Okay. Now, Kwon gave us some pretty good hints before mm-hmm. uh, we go into the song break. She said that she loves Pora's low voice and mm-hmm. her lyrics. Yeah. So that was a huge hint. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> so think about all of those, and we're going to take a listen to a sister track. You have three minutes and 29 seconds to send in your answers. We're going to be coming back with the winner of this week. Here we go with Touch My Body. With that, we are back, and we're bringing our K-pop MVP for this week to an end. Mm. So, Tem, I'm not going to jump over. Could you please <laughs> give us the answer? The answer was number four is the wrong fact. Mm-hmm. Yes. Pora isn't the leader. Mm-mm. And she's not the lead vocalist. Mm-mm. She's the rapper. Mm. Yeah. Even though she does sing. Yes. Every uh, once in a while. Yes. She is a rapper. So, Kwon Sin really did help. Mm-hmm. Tem's did, too. Then she does the same thing. Mm. Yes, they do rap. <laughs> okay, so uh, today we did see a lot of familiar faces, especially since Kwon's in the studio. Now, mm-hmm. we are giving away for the uh, K-pop MVP for this week, Very Good Swanamu and Oh My Girl Science CD. Yes. So, our winner for today is a loyal, very good fan from Korea, Tang9039. Samjin Nim, congratulations. 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 Go over to our winner information board and please leave your name, your phone number, and your address, and we'll be sending you these three girl group science CDs as soon as possible. Yay! Yay! Wow. <laughs> <gasps> as soon as I said that uh, we were gonna choose him, Ko was like, "Oh, yeah, he's here <laughs> today. <laughs> One of the loyal listeners." So uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to bring Ko and Tim back in the studio next week, but we are going to have to say goodbye because it is already time for us oh. to end the show. Very good is gonna be taking us out of the studio, showing our love for Very Good and Ko. <laughs> we got the recent track, the Tessa Dang, my first love. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Next week, bye. bye.